Welcome back to Dragon Age Wardens. Problem. I had to format my hard drives and reinstall my operating system. I guess I didn't have to, but after I recorded last the last part, I lost my progress. My computer crashed and I got pissed off. Luckily, I still had the old save from when I first entered Lothering, so I came back to basically where we were last time again, and we'll just follow our footsteps of where you guys didn't see me playing, I guess. I, I don't know. Anyways, let's continue Carpet onwards. Still operating their board. How that dedication. And you know what? It might be a good idea to turn the subtitles back on. I've had to go through all my settings again and test again and do all this shit again, but it's worth it. All right. So bandits, bandits everywhere. There is a a, qu a job quest. <laughs> Imagine that on a job board. So. They want us to go and uh, get some more bandits in the northern wood and roads. They're numerous and of considerable skill. Blah, blah, blah. Either way, it's going to make us some gold at some point, so we will accept it. And we'll seal it with our douchebag dragon. Accept. I did accept. I just had to escape. I thought I had that turned down. Apparently not. Whatever, game. And Eileen spoke unto the masses. My hearth is yours. My bread is yours. My life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Got anything interesting on the board that I haven't taken yet? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Okay. Ah, that was it. All right. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hands. There. One of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? Well, you had me, then you lost me. Uh, is nobody going to shut this guy up, or am I going to have to do it? Be my guest. I've no urge to try out that axe of his. I watched the Black Horde descend on my people. Darkness swallowed the marshes whole. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. That's enough. This ends right now, buddy. No, do not touch me. You bring evil and destruction. It is the end. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Well, the guy that has such a large axe, he runs pretty, well, fancy-like, I guess. <clears throat> There's always hope, my friend. Muster your courage. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die, either. We must go north to dinner him. Send the palace. What? He's still here in spirit. <laughs> oh boy, do you have a name? No, you don't. So that means you are insignificant. This pile of sacks. We don't know a merchant yet. Sir Marin. If you seek refuge in the chantry, there's simply no room left. You're closed? Or wait, do it. Do Really, does Reginald look like a re uh, refugee to you? So many are coming to Lothering. I make no assumptions. I know it's not something many dwarves do, but if you wish to offer devotion to the Maker, you may enter. You know, there's bandits on the highway. Were? Did you drive them off? Well, so Brian will appreciate that. 
Uh, all right, goodbye. Make her watch over you. Trust me, he doesn't say anything else important. There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Yes? Who might you be? Ah, Sir Bryant. <laughs> they call me Reginald Dickpot. At your service. And the Grey Warden, even. I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Tan Loghain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. You know I don't give a fuck. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I've heard... I've heard the rumors. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. About those bandits outside the village. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? Oh, don't worry about that. They won't bother you again. I killed them. All of them? By yourself? It's true. I saw it from my post. It was over so fast, we didn't even have time to get over there. Sad. Ginger that Alistair. To that. But then they asked for it. Will you accept a small reward for your service? I can keep an eye out for trouble for the right pay. I wish I could afford such help to be truthful. Damn. Take your reward at any rate. It is all I have to offer. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. Uh, need some information. If the matter is important, certainly. Let's see. Any recent news? Other than the Darkspawn Horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. King Galen had no heir? None that we know of. Teon Loghain has heir. no legitimate claim on the throne. Heir. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner. And the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. What's wrong with Arl Eamon? Arl Eamon has fallen ill, and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. Things seem pretty dire in the village. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the Horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. Is there any other help you can give us? I cannot openly help you, I fear, but... Here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Thank you, my friend. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Okay, got some sovereigns, some items. We have item overload. We at least got the key, right? I will be fucking pissed if we didn't. Let's go check the uh, cabinet to make sure that we do. Yep. Sock the Donald. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well. He'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the urn of sacred ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. 
Tell me more about this urn of sacred ashes. We know about that. Or we we heard a little bit of it from uh, Sir Henrik. We should probably tell him Sir Henrik's dead first. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Yeah, we killed the bandits that got him. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. And I kind of just fucked up because I should have asked him for a fucking reward. No, fun fact, he doesn't exactly give you much. I think he gives you one sovereign. Um, yeah, go ahead and tell us more about the urn. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. I'd like to hear what you learned. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. He wants us to read a book, but we can't fucking read. Though he did mention something about uh, the scholar that the Codex mentioned. Oh, fuck. Ah. We'll figure out more about it once we go to Red Cliff. More people will have information there, I'm sure. Do you ever wonder cool. if that's an accurate likeness of Andraste? Maybe she was ugly. Maybe she had buck teeth. How would we know? And when the Maker spoke, chant of light. I guess we wouldn't. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. Okay, this is the lady in charge. The, re the revered mother. Feared mother. <laughs> Fuck. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. Are you joking? A great number of people could be fed and clothed for a fraction of your finery. But you must do as your heart wills. What can I do for you then? So I'm going to receive your... No. Nothing of importance, really. Don't want to tell her that we're a Grey Warden. Be gone, then. I have important work to finish. She's pretty much fucking useless. You tell her you're, uh... <laughs> A great warden, she's like, well, I, I can't do anything for you. There's a bounty on your head. All she does is just say, I'll oh, look the other way. Of course, everybody knows now. Or at least thinks that we killed Caden. Which, of course, we didn't. Despite... We may have, do, <laughs> we may have done that if uh, given the chance. That depends. Who's your mother? She's really tall, and she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Some main men with swords came, and mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. Do you know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbors yesterday, but he didn't come back. Ah, God damn it. All right, come with us. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here in the village. Then go to the fucking chantry, I will, idiot. But I 
only if I don't find mother first. So, um, you're a dwarf, aren't you? <laughs> That's a stupid question. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I guess I'll go look for mother some more. Thank you for being so nice. <laughs> it's sad because I knew doing that would end the dialogue. But I just had to say it. <laughs> what kind I of stupid question wonder, is that? Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? Oh, we heard I this. I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to... There's... Quests and stuff to do down here, but going in here is important first. Well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Loghain's men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a dwarf by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Looks like you want to fight. Happy to oblige. Right, let's make this quick. Hey, so we want to go for the commander because... Well, you'll see. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. Take a message to Logan. What do you want to tell him? Tell me know what really happened. I'll tell him. Right away. Now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. So where does a sister learn to fight like that? I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. What does that mean? I joined the Chantry to live a life of religious contemplation. But I am no priest, not even an initiate. I'm Reginald, a pleasure. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. And what help would you be to us, anyhow? The Maker told me to join you. Surely, he would not do so without good reason. Can you, um... Elaborate on that a little bit. I... I know that sounds absolutely insane. But it's true. I had a dream. A vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair. And this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Yeah, very well. We won't turn away help when offered. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Ironically enough, Reginald's head does have a crack in it still. He still has that injury. Uh, yeah, we'll probably just go ahead and let Pizza King sit out. He's fun and all to have, but he doesn't have as much character as, well... The other characters. Indeed. So we have a rouge. Yeah.
Oh, I never came in here earlier. Anyhow, we have our first uh, merchant, this fuckface right here. But before we talk to him, we have some gear to go through. Uh, I think for Reginald, all I want to do is switch to Harvard Sages. Yeah, the Havard Ages uh, shield. Basically the same, but it gives a lot more missile deflection. And uh, we have a chance to avoid missile attacks altogether. So we're going to use that shield. Um, everything else should be good for him. Alistair should be good. We geared him up once already. Morgan we still need to uh, give some proper gear with. All she starts with is uh, her, her own robes. Um, so we'll give her some gloves, some boots, really don't need to give her armor, or er, yeah, armor, like basic armor is alright though, um, we can give her a dumb hat too. The hat's dumb. So dumb. Okay, Liliana. Give her a helmet. Uh, the gloves. She already has boots on. Halfway decent boots at that. Give her... Uh, Studded leather armor. Yeah, the rest of that stuff is heavy armor. Or medium, I should say. Well, we could probably give her some medium armor. Nine percent fatigue. Yeah, that's not bad at all. We were splint mail boots as well. That'll raise it up to ten point eight percent, which is still decent. As for her weapons, oh well, she has. Uh, she starts off with an enchanted dagger. We're going to give her the dive, uh, fine dwarven blade, and then let her use an enchanted dagger in her offhand. And give her a surveyor ring. There we go. Awesome. So we have a new member of our party, Liliana. Uh, I can't remember her character arc very well, but I'm sure we'll figure it out along the way. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and clear out our, in our inventory some. <laughs> I heard what you did with the other merchant. Got what he deserved. <laughs> As I still don't have food to sell. Know any work? Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Oh, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. I've dabbled in such things. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. Sure, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I might have some ingredients in stock. Don't really know what you need. Show me what you got, buddy. I know we're not going to be using any traps. There's a whole lot of regular gear to get rid of. Because we're not going to need any of it, really. It's all pretty basic stuff as well. No, we're not going to be using bows. Those uh, arrows catch a pretty penny. Um, I know those staffs we're not going to use. I checked them out before. <clears throat> pretty much going to sell all the armor and 
weapons, except for the dragon blood or the blood dragon plate. That's definitely not getting sold. I'm gonna keep that iron ring. We're gonna keep those runes and just about everything else. The crystals you can actually equip to uh, a certain character that we will be meeting later on, I'm sure. Hold on, plot items. Okay, uh, first of all, do you have a backpack? I hope that other merchant didn't have a backpack. He probably did knowing my luck, which kind of sucks. By the rope necklace. We always want to buy every gift we come across. That'll they'll come in handy later on. When we want to uh, open special dialogue options and stuff. Amulet of the Accord. Reduces hostility. Uh, raises physical resistance. We definitely want that. That's going to be really good. And I'm fairly sure he doesn't have any armor we want. Actually, we want that. We'll give that to Leliana. It'll uh, drop her fatigue down to almost nothing and raise her armor by 0.5. It's important for Rouges. Thorn of the Dead Gods. It's a one-handed dagger. Let's see. Tier two. Same damage, same crit. But it provides more armor penetration. Nah. Nope. No thank you. Sailor's crossbow. Nope. It's a lightning rod. Morgan does have some uh, lightning spells. But it's still not as good when it comes to just regular damage and armor penetration. It has it doesn't even have a higher spell power or range. Yeah, she'll keep what she has. Um This guy's got flasks. Might end up wanting some flasks. We only have one. I thought we had more than that. I will buy 35 of those. See, all these balms and these elixirs and stuff, I never really use. I might use the coating though. Maybe even the venom. We'll see. We'll see. I'll just have to remember to do this stuff. So I know I, def I definitely didn't use any of it uh, before. Let's see. Journal. Loathering. Poisonous proposition. Let's see. He wants to place poisonous traps about his farm to protect from. Three flasks of venom should do the trick. Let's see if I can go ahead and do that now. So, awesome. Liliana can craft poisons. We need toxin extracts. Which I don't know where in the hell to get those. You make death root. luck with that poison or oh, you're here to see my stock oh sad to hear it uh i'd look in the woods of the town and and maybe even look through my stock there should be enough around to make some even if it's just rat poison i'll take it i don't think you have just straight up extract do you because if you don't we'll have to uh go get it ourselves yeah, we'll have to go find it ourselves. That's okay. We'll be coming back to the village anyhow. Just because there's 
plenty of stuff to do here. But anyhow, now that we have uh, Liliana, we can go open chests now because she's all about lockpicking and shit. I like that. That night yesterday said he was from Redcliffe. He talked to everyone in the tavern. How are we supposed to know where the urn of sacred ashes is? Might as well ask us how to get to the moon. He said that all the Redcliffe knights were looking for it. As if they didn't have anything better to do. I don't get it. I've got a cousin in the Templars. Oh, I have a feeling we'll be finding it ourselves. I'm wondering, Morgan. Do you... Sorry, I gotta interrupt your conversation a little bit and gear you back to this. Certainly not. I've no primitive fear of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. But this can't all be an accident. Spirits, magic, all these wondrous things around us, both dark and light. You know these things exist. The fact of their existence does not presuppose an intelligent design by some absentee father figure. So it is all random then. A happy coincidence that we are all here. Attempting to impose order over chaos is futile. Nature is, by its very nature, chaotic. I don't believe that. I believe we have a purpose. All of us. Yours, apparently, being to bother me. Also, just looking at Liliana's skill, well, her skills, uh, she specializes in bows, and I just sold all of which that we had to that goddamn merchant. Sad right day. So, we're going to have to do something about that. Um, in fact, let's look at her character sheet real quick. Wrong sheet. Let's look at her spells and talents. Rogue skills, dual weapon, archery. Yeah, so she specializes in archery. I guess we will be using an archer. Fuck. That's all right, though. Uh, We'll just have to buy stuff back. Probably end up selling the blades that she's using right now. You'd think. I mean, uh, goddamn, you'd think that... Uh, if she started off, she would have started off with a bow instead of just a fucking dagger. But then again, she was still in her robes, so... I guess that explains that game. Either way, we'll be able to set her back up. We're just gonna come in here and pick everything up. When we come back next time, guys, we'll finish clearing out Lothering. As you like. Probably head north to go after those bandits and look for uh, some poison plant materials. So, yeah. Till then, Grey Wardens, stay safe out there. <laughs>